I had my nose corrected. I had fat injections put into my cheeks and into my lips that was taken from my legs. Okay. And I had a little bit of Botox put in my forehead. Okay, that would be, okay, then your breasts, what size are they? Um, they're triple D's or F's pretty much. Um, so I wanted H for height. It's part of the beauty of life. We, mm -hmm. we grow, we're little, and we get to a certain age, and then we wither away. It's, can you imagine yourself looking in the mirror saying, perfect? I feel that way. Well, my definition of perfection just simply means that I am in a state of relaxation, and that I feel at ease with my world, my surroundings, and myself. I don't idolize celebrities. I don't have a, a role model that's a celebrity because there's nothing about their life or them that I look up to. What about being a role model for so many of the, the people who are doing music today? No, no, no. Not a role model. What are you? I'm just me. Uh, what, what do you want exactly me to say? You want me to jump up and say hallelujah and crash the cameras and do something weird? <laughs> Tell me. Tell me. I'll, I'll go along with you. If I can't go along with you, I'll find somebody to go along with you. No, but I, I find it, it you really have no idea as to why you are, no thoughts on why you're popular. That's the, what interests me. On I just have no, haven't really struggled for that. <laughs> I, I don't, uh, it happened, you know. It happened like anything else happens. I, I think the body is beautiful. Um, I think skinny dipping is just beautiful if you, if you want to do it, if you can do it. But um, some people can't because... Or their, their environment made them, you know, feel that it's wrong. Even though they know in their subconscious that it's right, you know, it's, you know, good. And... We got one more tune for you. It's called Soul Sacrifice. hippie, the bohemian uh, prototype. Certainly he has worked to cultivate that reputation. He is unconventional in all matters. In politics he is sort of radical, sort of pro-socialist, sort of not quite bright. In sex he is homosexual. In appearance he will wear his hair long until everybody else does, then he will cut it. Concerning drugs uh, he is all for it. Hippies is kind of a stereotype. Yeah. Generally a newspaper stereotype so that it's hard to generalize, except to the extent that what is called the hippie movement involves an alteration of consciousness <coughs> towards some greater awareness and greater individuality, which you might even sympathize with, yeah. <coughs> then uh, hopefully the future will see like a spread of that gentleness and consideration coming through.
politically and artistically and maybe even on television. Not quite yet. <laughs> well, it, uh, it's slowly approaching. Uh, the problem, I think, with television, which is interesting. See, so before I came on, uh, uh, one of your, uh, Mr. Stiebel, who is your uh, uh, helper here, producer, uh, asked me not to say any dirty words, what he considered dirty words, on the program, which presents a moral problem, you know, <laughs> in that um, there's a political function to the language of everyday use. The, the language we actually speak mm -hmm. to each other in, off the air. Mm -hmm. There's a communication that's involved, and there's a classical use of all sorts of what are called off-color words in art, yeah. as well as images. So our problem here, or what I've been posed with, is having, in a sense, to uh, censor my yeah. thought patterns. But you can overcome this through the process of love, can't you? Your love is a part, is in part uh, awareness. Consideration. Awareness is what I would say. Yeah, but it's also consideration. consideration. That, yeah. Consideration. And therefore, if it would be offensive to some people to hear those words spoken, then you would presumably uh, uh, assume the burden I think of expressing yourself without using them. I right? think I probably could pronounce them in such a way that it would be inoffensive. In fact, everybody would <laughs> shout with joy on the television screen watching. <laughs> yeah. But the real problem is that might denature consideration. Them, no, well, good. Poet, it's it? time to denature them. Time to the nature, rather than hold back the old nobody mystery. Yeah. 